I'm basically going to just take you guys along what a typical day of quarantine looks like. <laughs> I've just woken up and I've brushed my teeth already. I've done, done some, I've had Bible study actually. I'm just gonna, cause I, I didn't record while I was doing it. Cause I was in the word, honey, okay? And basically today's Bible study was about first Samuel and about Saul, Samuel, David, and all of that if you haven't read first samuel i would encourage it because it's very interesting basically listen to it through the bible app and then i kind of like you know take the story in as a story because it's a story right so i first take the story in as a story and then i go back to it and then i read it to understand it if that makes sense so that's how i think i um i'm able to grasp information through the bible and the word and stuff like that and also i ask questions so i know some people that are you know more spiritual spiritually mature in the word and then i ask them questions something that i'm confused about so something that i was confused about i'll just give you guys an example so this is during um let's give you a, a, a summary of what i found interesting and a bit hmm, like okay um i mean really, i don't really understand that like can you explain to me because i don't really get it so it's basically when god told saul god gave a message to saul to destroy the amalekites and everything and anything that was there okay and Saul did that however he did part he didn't obey fully he was supposed to destroy everything but Saul didn't destroy everything and he took some of the things that he seemed as still good enough to salvage basically from the Amalekites and that's basically being disobedient to God disobedient to God because God told you to do this and you did part you know what I'm saying like who are you to be disobeying God like God told you to do something for a reason and we're disobeying him that's many of us as well God gave us a word God has told us to do something and we are doing part and say oh but God mm, this, 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 this is not that bad we can keep it because like honey I told you to destroy it, okay? I didn't tell you to keep it. So anyhow, that's what Saul did. Saul kept some, and obviously God was like, <laughs> bye, okay? Mm -mm. So that's, yeah, so basically, so Samuel went back to Saul to say, like, what's going on? So like, you know, Samuel was real pissed. Like, you didn't obey God. God told you to do this. You didn't do this. What happened? So anyhow, that happened and Saul became very depressed you know he used to hear the spirit of God but God the spirit of God left him so it's funny because when in in the in the one of the Bible um, translations I was reading it says that the spirit of evil from the spirit of evil from God fell on Saul so I was like ah, why would God give some of the spirit of evil to fall on them do you know what i mean i was just like ah, is that like what's going on so and then i asked my cousin like because i wasn't sure about it like what's going on and he explained it to me that it's you know sometimes if the spirit of god isn't with you while well, the spirit is in you it's obviously not of god right so when god's spirit departed from Saul, he was depressed and you know he was consumed by an evil spirit so that's I think so so that's so yeah so that's he was consumed by evil spirits and evil spirits is depression it's not it's not a good spirit is it anything that's not a good spirit is it not an evil spirit let me know in the comment section what you think um so yeah so that he did that so then someone told someone exp you know said to Saul like oh there's this boy that actually plays a in musical instrument that will help you with whenever the spirit comes on you so it's like okay cool get the boy so the boy comes this is david okay so the boy comes and he's playing his music and it's making soul feel better so he's like i'm gonna have to tell your dad that you're gonna have to stay here because <laughs> i'm really pleased with you so he does that so obviously he knows his dad and he knows who this young boy is it's david right so and prior to this prior to this God had already told Samuel to anoint David as to anoint David because David was going to be the new king, okay, after Saul. 
Saul didn't know this, right? So Saul, so to Saul, David was a boy who played this musical instrument, right? So obviously he played a musical instrument. Now, after that, this is where Goliath, you know, he was coming, boasting like, yeah. I'm big, I'm mighty, no one can defeat me, kind of thing. So obviously he's shouting like, uh, you know, the Israelites are like shook, they shook, okay, they shook in the knees. Like, oh my gosh, what the heck, who can defeat this man? So obviously Goliath's there throwing hella shade, like, oh, you guys can't defeat me, I'm this, I'm that. Like, whoever defeats me should rule over, like, should rule over my land, like, we'll serve you, basically, saying that. So obviously David's hearing that. Cause he's a, he was around at this time okay if you really want to know the ins and out you're gonna really have to read your bible so he was around okay and he's thinking like who who is this and in the bible it says who is this uncircumcised philistine okay and it was so funny because i remember um the pastor at my church he he mentioned like you have to think about it Everybody else saw Goliath as this mighty, this big, this giant that, oh my gosh, no one could defeat him. But David, as smart as he was, he was like, he didn't say, who is this giant? He was like, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? To be uncircumcised means that you don't have, you, you don't have the, the covenant of God is not with you. Do you get it? I'm, I'm sure he was thinking like, you know, who is this person that is not even circumcised? that has authority where how it's not possible college no no so he's thinking like who is this uncircumcised philistine so it's not like who's this giant philistine who is this giant from the philistine who is this mighty warrior who is this uncircumcised so he's already seen his downfall already so he's throwing shit like who is this uncircumcised philistine that's chanting and talking rubbish so obviously so over here's that you know um, David's asking like who's gonna what, what would the person get if they defeat this guy like what's what what, what are you gonna get what are you gonna get what are you gonna get so obviously so here's that so so calls David like David's like so chill like calm down like it's all right I got it like I can fight this man so so it's looking like you guys listen let's not look at the appearance of somebody okay let me tell you yeah when god's power is covering you when god's grace is covering you yeah you are mighty to anybody as in you know what they say no weapon formed against me shall prosper like i like who he that is in me is greater than he that is 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 of the world hello hi god saw was like david really you small boy David was like just let me go so David gave um Saul gave you know you guys should know the story so anyhow what was confusing me is when David when David defeated Goliath right and he cut off his head and he kept he he was he went to go keep his um Goliath's um uh weapons within his tent right so obviously Saul's looking at him and to me, it was like, okay, so I was looking at him and he calls his servant, go call David for me. Or go go call that, that guy, or David, go call David to me. And David comes and he's like, the question he asked him is what confused me, basically. He was like, who's your dad? So then David's like, oh, my dad's your servant, Jesse. My question now is, you already met David before. You knew his father because you told his father to let you keep David with you because you're pleased with him so why now are you asking him who your father is like it didn't make sense to me so i called one of my cousins and it's so funny because it's, this is why it's important to read the bible and try and get an understanding of what it try and get an understanding for yourself before you you know go to church and you're hearing the pastor that's why my pastor's always banging on about stop taking my word for it go and read it yourself i can say anything i want to at this stage of the bible but you need to go and take it for yourself what does it mean to you the bible is the bible right god's word is true but your interpretation of the bible is different from my interpretation of the bible so after david defeated goliath and he was walking somebody can read that chapter where it says Saul was looking at david so somebody could have been like Saul was looking at david like mm, so you're a big man now you've defeated goliath you're a big man abby okay well done 
go out and call him for me. Somebody else could have been like, David was, um, Saul was looking at David like, oh wow, this boy, wow. And I didn't have faith though. I didn't even have faith in him. Mm -mm. I didn't even think he would make it. Wow, look at, go and call him for me. Do you get what I'm saying? So basically, what was written in the Bible is the same. But how I saw it and how somebody else saw it and how somebody else sees it is a different interpretation based on them. It's just how they interpret the Bible. Do you get what I'm saying? And obviously if you have a further understanding, if you're, you know, if you have other study Bibles and you're researching and stuff like that, you can get a total different um different perspective altogether. Do you know what I mean? So when you know, in the Bible it says, when, whose son are you, young man? Saul asked him. David said, I am the son of your servant, Jesse of Bethlehem. So, and then obviously, in the, in the NIV part, it, you know, it gives you the heading of like, it sort of gives you a summary of what's going to happen. So the next, the next chapter, um, it says the beginning of Saul's jealousy. So it kind of, kind of, you kind of get the feel of what's going to happen. So basically, I asked my cousin, like, you know, I didn't really understand why he's so asking David who his father is when he knew, knows who his father is. Anyway, so my, um, my cousin mentioned that to him, it could have been like, you know, sometimes when even though you know somebody, you know, like, let me say my typical African people, okay, something's happened, right? And someone, someone is getting all the fame and all the glory from other people and all favor and they're like, who's his father, Seth? That kind of thing it's, it, it could have been that way that Saul was asking that like, who's your father like who you be who, who born you which papa born you that kind of thing so that you know that was his perspective and, it's, and I was like oh, okay it's, it's true like you know sometimes where they say oh when they want to abuse you they're like um ah that your dad uh, Robert or whatever his name is obviously you know his dad's name do you get it so it's like you're just mock like trying to trying to say as if I beg, I don't even have time to even know who you are or even act like I know who you are or who your dad is. So who's your father? Who, who? Who's your father that you have all these agidi, like you're showing off kind of thing. It could have been that way. Or it could have been like, huh? Like who's your father? Like who, who? Like wow, like who's your father? Like they want to know who your father is. So they want to, like they want to know who trained you or who brought you up kind of thing. Before, prior to that, David had already asked like who, what's the person going to get? If they defeat Goliath, what are they going to get? And obviously they said, you know, they will get to marry um, the, the king's daughter. They won't have to pay taxes. So they was like, eh? They won't have to pay what? No taxes? Put me, sign me up. Okay, sign me up. So obviously, Saul could have also been asking like, who's your father? So that I can know that who exactly isn't going to pay taxes. Who exactly, I've written I've written some, I wrote some stuff down. Um, um, to know exactly the family that we're talking about like let's know the family that we're actually going to say that you shouldn't pay tax let's know who they are um because what david did was striking and Saul was impressed by his actions you know that could have been another another one so Saul was impressed by his action or was it that that was the beginning of Saul's ill intention towards david if you read um if you continue reading the book of samuel you actually see Saul's and david's um bond changing basically it's really 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 interesting and i used to be one to i used to hate reading my bible like i would read every other book as you can see some of the books here i would read every other book i would literally try and read other books but the bible because i just i don't know i think it's it, it came from like a young age where i just was just felt very intimidated by the bible and very intimidated by other people that knew a lot about the bible and i just thought i can't get there like it's not me but legit i find it so challenging and very hard to pick it up and just say you know what i want to read first of all you don't even know what you want to read that's the first like you don't know where to start do you start from genesis or the way to revelation do you start from revelations back to genesis where do you start do you start from psalms do you start from proverbs where do you actually start but i just the way I started was I decided to start a plan on you version. They have lots of plans that you can choose from, and I decided to choose a plan. And my plan was um, um, hearing the voice of God. So that was the plan that I wanted to start. And the first day one, we we had a devotional, and I read that, and then it gives you some scriptures to um, link with your devotional. And the scripture was First Samuel, 
and I can't remember the scripture exactly. And I thought, you know what? Since I'm already reading this scripture of my devotional, I'm not going to read the second days, like the rest of the days for my devotion because it gives you a different script. I'm going to focus on 1 Samuel. And that was how I basically started 1 Samuel. Another really good um, video that I've watched that basically gives you a summary of the books in the Bible is the bible project on youtube i love the bible project i got it from you version and they have a youtube channel i love it because they not only do they try, um give you a summary or rundown of the chapter of the book in the bible but they give you illustrations so you're looking it's a visual interpretation of it so it's it's got like drawings right i love it i love i love it love it love it love it love it so i really encourage you guys to go on their youtube i'll put um, a link in the description box and actually look on it and you will find really interesting things as well so without further ado um, I'm just gonna give you guys I'm just gonna take you guys with me for my typical day of quarantine officially my work didn't close before but now they actually have closed and I'm going to basically give you guys a rundown of what I'm gonna typically do today so thank you guys and continue watching okay guys so welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed what are you really waiting for click the like button subscribe comment click the notification because we're going to be seeing a lot of each other and guys comment what you would like me to do anything that you'd like me to talk about what you'd like me to record and i would do my best to give that to my lovely people that's my love basically like taking my love and giving it to you guys <laughs> So I brushed my teeth like I've already said. Now I'm going to make some breakfast. So you're not gonna obviously have this angle. I'm gonna hold my phone. So let's go, honey. some chores um now it's gym time around this time if i was at work i would have actually gone to the gym anyway so it's gym time that doesn't change anything okay do some home workouts for the next two weeks seeing that we are here i'm going to be trying the chloe ting two week challenge at workout and we're going to see if it makes a difference because this belly gets to go so we're going to try this two week challenge and see if it actually does work and then two weeks time i'm hoping to see a difference so yeah i will actually be doing it every day for two weeks and we shall see what we get <laughs> let's go <sighs>
and let's have a look. Hi guys, I am back and I'm dressed. As you can see, I've done my makeup, done my hair. You're probably thinking, where the hell are you going? I wasn't going anywhere. I was just doing some videos. So now I'm going to edit and I will probably make something to eat. Then I probably watch a movie or a TV show. And then, I don't know, catch up with some friends, some family and go to bed later on in the day that's legit it that's typical that's a typical day right now so i'm not gonna show you guys and bore you with that stuff hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what else you would like to see i also hope you guys are enjoying my sunday sessions that's very dear to me and a lot of people um have even told me to do this ages ago but i was a bit a bit apprehensive at first but i'm enjoying it now but i would like to see some encouraging words from you guys so i can continue recording it um yeah guys that's all i have to say <laughs>